Hi, welcome to the Maker Hive Quick Tip. Today I'm going to tell you how to draw your parts so you get a nice crisp edge for a recessed hole without using support. This was printed upside down like this, so I have a nice knob here with a recessed hole and a solid flat surface for my screw head to sit, rest on. Here's my part I want to print and uh, as you can see I have the hole all the way through and the problem I have is I don't want to print it this way because that will require a lot of support and, and if I print it this way this ledge here that my screw head rests on doesn't come out clean and crisp because there's nothing here for the uh, the layers to build on or I either have to use support or just deal with a dirty hole all I need to do instead of cutting this hole all the way through to match the smaller hole I'll stop it 0.1 millimeters short and now when I slice this it'll slice it with a single layer in between the two holes okay now I have uh, both of them on here the one with the hole all the way through and the one with the single layer so after I slice these and we should view the layers here once we get to that part you can see now I have a single layer that bridges across the entire larger hole and it gives something for the next layer to build the perimeters onto and you come out with a much cleaner recessed hole and this works great for any kind of recess you know, whether it be square or slot Okay, these two knobs were printed at the same time on the same printer. Uh, the difference is one had the single layer in between the two different through holes. And as you can see, there's a nice flat level plane there for the screw head to rest against. So it makes a, putting a single layer in there makes a nice uh, surface for the printer to print your perimeters first without them falling through. Now this one the hole went straight through and you can see that the uh, layers didn't turn out so good. I mean, it looks solid obviously I could clean this up a little bit and it'd still function because I'm, I'm only printing four four solid layers before infill so since there wasn't nothing there for anything to rest on I, I can actually see a void there into my infill so it's going to be kind of squishy if I try to put any kind of pressure on tightening that down. That's a Maker Hive quick tip. Thanks.